Well, welcome here they are. to Hello, Dean and Kyung. It's great to have you guys here with us yes. today. How are you guys doing? How are their advisor videos? Great. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good. Are we Are we good? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, could you guys just introduce yourselves, your role at PLBC, how mm -hmm. long you've been here for, and we'll start from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dean, do you want to go first? <laughs> oh. <laughs> So um, nice, so Canadian. Uh, yeah, my name is Dean. Uh, I'm the vice president of student development, and I started here. I was an adjunct faculty for a couple of years, and then became the vice president since 2016, mm. and uh, so coming up to five years, and That's awesome. um, get a chance to teach various classes <clears throat> and just enjoy connecting with students through our student development. So. Awesome, thank you. That's so good. Uh, my name is Kyung, and I've been here since 2014. I came with Christ College. Mm -hmm. I am the VP of Academics. I'm learning what that means. Um, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's new, though, right? You've just Kyung yes. is a VP of Academics mm -hmm. since last year, so we're thrilled about that. Yeah, it's not even so a year yet. So. Yeah. Wow. Not even a year. Wow. After COVID, hey. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. Well, Lavi, I think you mm -hmm. have a, a great question yes, to start these guys we off. We do. Like, what do you have? We do. So, what do you guys think about this one? Do you think God loves Satan? <laughs> it's a tough one, hey? Dean, are you going to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> you can have a minute to think about. Maybe not a minute, but. A no, no, that would take way too much time. <laughs> um, does God. God. Um, it depends how you define uh, Satan, but um, mm. God is love. Mm -hmm. um, God does not. Right. God does not love evil, though. God loves truth. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, and does not rejoice with evil. Um, so, I would say that uh, just a simple one-off. My my response would be that God does not love evil. God does not love evil. Okay. Yeah, that's a loaded question. Yeah, that's kind of hard. Know. Okay, so <laughs> the problem is when you talk about Satan. Um, you, you, you kind of have to identify who Satan is or even uh, initially what it even means, which is uh, like an accuser or an adversary. Mm -hmm. And right. again, I know we, there's not enough time to answer this question other than what Dean kind of said. God is love. God is just. God is a lot of things. I don't think you need to personify, hmm, that's going to go in a bad direction. Um, <laughs> we... <laughs> You should come to Bible college. Yeah. <laughs> but, That's um, a great answer. <laughs> I, don't, um, I, I do think one thing we teach is that you need to read the Bible carefully. Mm -hmm. And reading it carefully means that you have to read it in context, mm -hmm. including historical and literary context. And to read and know who Satan is at different moments in the biblical text is important. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Then you can answer that question. <laughs> Kind of dodged it there a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> that'll, be the, that'll be every answer. <laughs> well, uh, maybe an easy one. Uh, an easier one that came up in the chat is, what are some um, books of the Bible that are particularly applicable for this COVID season to mm. teach from? <laughs> I think you should read it all. To be honest. <laughs> the whole so Bible, I, yes. My, 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 this, is, this is just personally what I think is the Bible gets really read in segments and sometimes used in ways that shouldn't be used. So mm -hmm. you should really try to read the entire Bible as much as you can mm -hmm. and to understand it and, and hear God speak through it. I do think what we're missing is the larger story <clears throat> of how mm -hmm. God is communicating with us in terms of the Bible. So I say all of it. <laughs> but you, we have a lot of time, right? So... <laughs> that's a great, that's a great, great answer for sure. I want to read it in all of context. But um, <laughs> if I had to land somewhere, if I had to land somewhere, I just, I really enjoy Ecclesiastes. Like I just, nice. that just, it resonates with cool. me. So. <laughs> do you like teaching on it too? Oh yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. Let's do a bit more of a lighthearted question. Okay. Who can do more push-ups between the two of you? <laughs> yeah, that'd, that'd probably be me. Nice. Be okay. <laughs> Ken doesn't even want to try answering. No, we could try. Do you no. Want to try? <laughs> okay. Um, maybe a harder one. What about ghosts? Are they real? Mm. What are your thoughts? Uh, Kyung's got an answer for this. Yes. One. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were the one who was going to answer this one. Um, there's, you know, there's instances where it says that, uh, and you can see this with, uh, with Samuel and. Uh, 
so there are moments in the Bible <laughs> that talks about spirits, um, demons, and other things. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll start there, and Dean will end. Oh, Dean will <laughs> That's kind of how I, I <laughs> operate. I usually start the conversation, and then we'll see where it kind of leads. Uh-huh. That's, called, that's called, it's called teamwork. <laughs> or passing the buck. <laughs> Either way, right? Uh, that's a good... Uh, you know, I thought about this. Um, it was interesting. Um, some of the discussion around ghosts, let's say, is mm-hmm. a, it, it, it speaks to this reality of people being curious about the spiritual realm. Right. That there is a spiritual world, and mm-hmm. this is, I think, Kyung, what you're emphasizing that we see in Scripture too, obviously, mentioning that. And however that gets interpreted or translated or spoken about, it does speak to this fact that we live in this spiritual world and people are trying to, to make sense of it. Yeah. And so, um, mm-hmm. so it really is a, an, an, something for us to explore beyond, but of course look to the Bible as our authority for that. Right. So. Fantastic. That's good. Okay, what, uh, in the chat, what is your favorite class to teach and why? Hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> um, I like to teach books of the Bible. Uh, I think that's always been something that I enjoy to do. Um, but I also like teaching advanced biblical interpretation. Um, and the reason is I like it when students discover something that they've never seen before. Mm. And when they just read the Bible, <laughs> at times it's just mm-hmm. reading. You discover a question or something that's there that they've just never seen. Uh, and the question usually leads on to further investigation and, mm-hmm. and it's, a, it's a great path to be on and I, I like that. Wow. Yeah. That's too hard of a question. Because <laughs> I, 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 I like uh, different classes for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, you gotta pick your favorite though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of like spirit form too because it's like really, well, you'd have to just show up and you'll Over find spirit out. spirit form one? How come? Well, spirit form one I really like too because that's our first year <laughs> class. But spirit form two is like, those of you who have been in spirit form two, you just know that first day you walk into class and <laughs> no lights are on, Gregorian <laughs> chants are playing, candles are lit. <laughs> Students are like, creepy, where, eh? where am I? <laughs> What's going on? So that's kind of cool. And then I got our prayer bowl. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I think probably, I say, my, probably my favorite, if I had to nail down one, would be senior seminar. Nice. It's a fourth year capstone course. And that's, that's because, kind of similar to what you're saying, that's a, a seminar style. So we mm-hmm. use sort of a Socratic method, a methodology where we are trying to get students to raise the questions and they get to answer the questions. Uh, themselves and then they present to their fellow students and their fellow students will critique them check to see if there's any logical fallacies involved and so it's really kind of a fun uh, Mm -hmm. it's a great class actually I really I I love that class yeah that's so good let's go to another one in the chat Um, who's your favorite current student Ah. (laughs) oh no (laughs) who asked that what was that Kim I said who asked that (laughs) (laughs) we have to say Lavi right we gotta say Lavi here she is yeah I said it (laughs) Current, so I don't. I don't think I have any classes with you guys this semester. But oh. any any current ones, current students in this. I can't this, answer this that. Can't answer that. Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We'll get to another one. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I saw actually Parry answered in the chat. Um, there's a song at the moment uh, doing the rounds called Defender, and mm-hmm. um, it uh, one the lyrics um, in one of the verses go, "You come back with the head of my enemies." What are your thoughts on that on that lyric being in a kind of worship song? Sorry. Um, can we paste that in the chat again, Anna? Is this a lyric from a song? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Can we paste oh, Howie's question? Yeah, Kyung is really again? big on, on, <laughs> yeah. on songs. And so. Yeah, I, I, I think the Psalms are not um, <laughs> censored in any way, which yep. is great. Uh, I think they're honest words from people who are um, responding to what God is doing in their situations. Mm-hmm. And I think we need words through the Psalms, to lament Mm -hmm. and to praise, to give thanks, to also voice our frustration, and also to um, express our anger with different situations that happen in our lives. So the Mm -hmm. Psalms, if you read them, are again, um, probably much worse than any worship song will ever be. (laughs) And I think, so this again, this might be geeky, but the Dead Sea Scrolls Psalms are so much different than actually our Psalms because 
the scrolls in, if you know this, the Jewish communities that were involved with them, they were more happy or they tried to be more thanksgiving. Mm. So you find that lament and other parts are, are kind of missing. And I think our Psalms, especially some of them, there may not be a ray of light in, in, in some things. So I, I think they're honest expressions of God speaking the first word <clears throat> mm-hmm. in our lives. That's really cool. Yeah. Anything to add to that, Dean? No? That was, that was a fantastic answer. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. That is yeah. that's fantastic. The invitation to honesty yeah. and authenticity mm-hmm. in our spirituality, that's what I think, what I love about the Bible is that it, it's authentic in its presentation. It doesn't try to gloss over mm-hmm. both in the lives of the, the stories that are told of people or like the Psalms or the Ecclesiastes is a great example of that. So I think for me, that's where it gives me more confidence mm-hmm. in uh, scripture and, and, mm-hmm. uh, and its authenticity. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Cool. Thank you. That's a fantastic answer. Yeah, so good. Uh, another question in the chat. What is the most common error you see follow of, followers of Jesus make when it comes to reading their Bible and trying to live it out? It's the most common error. It's a good one. Do <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah. you got one? I, oh, no, just <laughs> jumping to my mind is that whole thing about uh, being hearers of the word or doers of the word. Maybe mm-hmm. like that's that, or Jesus' conclusion on the Sermon on the Mount, that he who hears these words and puts them into practice. So it really is about the engagement where we're putting into practice, mm-hmm. where we're, we're doing this. And not that we're perfect. It's not a performance-based thing at all. Uh, but it is about... Um, mm-hmm. The, the fact that as I read this, I'm reading it for the purpose of response. Yeah. That, uh, and I think that's where, I think that's where I, 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 was, I was saying to my class the other day, I've been reading through Luke's gospel, and at one point it hit me where I just thought, Lord, who does this? Mm-hmm. Like, like, like the, the call of Jesus is so radical. It's such an invitation. It was, it, was, it was awestruck. Like, and that's what it says at the end of the Sermon on the Mount. That it says the people who heard his teachings were amazed. And mm-hmm. the word amazed is actually, if you were to look into the depths of that word, it actually speaks to this idea of being awestruck, like almost like a, a punch in the gut because mm-hmm. it takes your breath away. Wow. And it was that sense, again, of going like, this is, this is incredible. What do we, who does this? And so mm-hmm. to me, the, the most common error or maybe the greatest challenge for myself uh, is, and I, I think for all of us, is when I read this text, it's not for me just to read it to kind of go, oh, does it make me feel good? Or, oh, this is good for so-and-so and so-and-so, mm-hmm. you know, but this is good for me, and it's my invitation to life, but it's my invitation mm-hmm. to life in my response uh, to it. Not, not perfect, but yeah. I respond to it. That's really so, good. Uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, so this is, again, just a little bit of me. Um, I, I think people should read the Bible and not just uh, get it secondhand, or even, um, so I feel like, you know, there's a a maturation thing that happens as we continue to read scripture, and as we mature, and as we ask questions, and as we fail in interpretation, and succeed in Mm -hmm. interpretation, but I think one thing that I find kind of difficult is people really having a theology or an Mm -hmm. idea that's really been chewed on by others rather than um, discovered and and lived out with Mm -hmm. themselves wow that's awesome that's good thank you guys so much for those questions or answers Um, one more in the chat and then we'll wrap it up as well Um, is there a difference between being made in the image of God and being a child of God do you guys think Uh, technically, um, sure, because <laughs> uh, again, the image of God is that language that from Genesis, so it, mm-hmm. it actually means something, and if you discover what it means, which again, I'm not going to give you an answer too much about it, but there's <laughs> a lot of different, um, uh, there's different ideas of what that means, mm-hmm. which I think is great, uh, but you do, you do need to discover the actual theological term and what it encompasses. Mm-hmm, right. And I do think when you speak generically and not with specificity, uh, again, this is another thing I kind of talk about, is you have to know um, the specifics so that you can nuance and stop, for all of us, to stop talking in generalities a bit, mm. to understand what it really means to be in the image of God mm-hmm. in Genesis, mm-hmm. in Psalms, in the right. New Testament, and then the child of God in those other places as well. And mm-hmm. then have a fuller picture of that mm-hmm. would be helpful. 
Yeah, yeah. it's really awesome. good. Just want to get one final question in. Nice. Um, <laughs> were there seven literal days of creation, or is it symbolic? It's a classic. <laughs> Is it this or that? The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> to both. Care to expand? <laughs> oh, what leave, oh, what I, think, um, I, I think that is in Genesis. And mm -hmm. I know Kyung teaches Pentateuch, so um, <laughs> I think he's got an answer. But we're not going to let him answer that because that is the reason for you to have to be here. You need to come to Bible Join College class, to find yes. that out. Yeah. yeah. That's Fantastic. awesome. And discover it for yourself. Discover it you for go. yourself. That's, that's right. Great reason help. to come to yeah. Bible College. That's great. Good questions. <laughs> Um, we're, so we're actually going to go to another class now. We have yeah. our incredible instructor, Ken. He's so going to be awesome. teaching um, his class, Survey of Christian Beliefs. Mm -hmm. And we're going to watch that together. We'll be doing a giveaway afterwards again. So yes. uh, keep a close eye on it. And we'll have a question for you once we're back. So we'll see you in a minute.